Hey gang, welcome back. It's Dr. V the Kenny. So today, what I wanted to do is show you something pretty cool that you can do at home if you ever want, if you ever wanted to. And so we've got some sodium alginate, which you can get on Amazon. We also have calcium chloride. I don't have the package on me, but both of them you can get on Amazon. And the cool thing is you can make a sodium alginate solution like so. So this is two whey percent sodium alginate with, as you might see, some food coloring. And in this case, I've got about five drops of food coloring in 100 milliliters. And if you're making a two whey percent sodium alginate solution, that would be two grams of sodium alginate in 100 milliliters of water. Now, with the sodium alginate, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our solution, like so. So I've got a transfer pipette here where I cut the tip off, and we're gonna add it to a 0.5 molar calcium chloride solution. And so I'm gonna do that right now, and what do you know? What happens is that we're getting calcium chlor uh, sodium alginate beads. And the reason this happens is that your calcium, your calcium ions and sodium ions do a swap, and the calcium ions will now interact with the sodium alginate to cause the alginate, ion, uh, alginate ions to start binding up together and aggregating to form these beads, which is pretty cool and is a nice, safe experiment that you can do at home that is relevant towards the drug delivery area because what happens is that right now we've got our sodium alginate beads that are curing in calcium chloride. So we're solidifying that exterior layer or all the layers of the sodium alginate. And what we can do is we can actually take those beads later. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a couple more beads before we do the next step. So we're just gonna make a few more. Here we go. Oh, we got a big one right there. Another big one. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna make a couple more, hold on. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we've got all these sodium alginate beads that are curing right now in calcium chloride. And what we'll do is we'll separate it out from our curing solution using some kind of a strainer. If you have a metal strainer at home, super handy. If not, that's okay because a coffee filter will work just as well. And so we can separate this out using our coffee filter. And what you might notice is that some of the beads have different shapes. And that came into play because I was a little eager to make some uh, sodium alginate beads. If you go at a slow rate and you do one drop at a time from a higher height, you can get the beads to be a little bit more spherical. And once you have the beads, what you can do is you can take those beads and put them into a, a regular plain water solution and let them sit. Because what will happen is over time, once the beads are sitting, you'll have food coloring that elutes out of your beads. And so this is one of my beakers that I had, I made earlier. As you can see, we've got some beads floating around and it started off clear and it turned green over time. It's about an hour and a, this is after about an hour and a half, hour and 40 minutes. As you can see, there was a good amount of green food, food coloring that eluted out of the beads. And as I mentioned earlier, that relates to drug delivery because a lot of the times you have different compounds that are going to be encapsulated so that you can, humans can ingest those drugs and those drugs can be delivered to the appropriate areas where then that drug, the active ingredient can elute out of its binding and treat the affected area. And the interesting thing in drug delivery is that there are different rates of release that you may be interested in. So you may want something that's fast acting and responds within 30 or 45 minutes. There are other times where you may want something that is slow acting and actually lasts for 12 hours or 24 hours. And that's the really cool thing with drug delivery and something you can play around with a little bit is how do we change that barrier to control the rate of release so that it can be really quick or really slow. So. That's the demo of the day. Hopefully you enjoyed it. 
Thanks a lot for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.